Good afternoon. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Willa Choko. I'm from uh, Zimbabwe. This is the first mom I'm attending. And um, I would like to say it's been a very good mom. I normally watch the moms from, on TV, but the experience when you actually go to the moms is, is, is really amazing. Um, I've learned so much just today, and I've met up with um, very, very intelligent um, people. I'm going to have a short presentation, and the presentation is going to be called uh, David versus uh, Goliath. Yep. So the, this is a story that dates back um, quite a lot of years of a showdown that once happened between Goliath. Um, Goliath was a, was a giant, and he, he had a showdown against uh, David, of which David was just a, a, a little boy who used to head the ship. So David was the, was the underdog, and no one expected David to actually win. But to their surprise, uh, David actually conquered uh, Goliath. So we, we love um, Microtech, but the reason why we love Microtech is not only because of their great products, but it's also because they too were also an underdog in the networking field. So a few decades ago, no one used to know Microtech. People only used to know the big players like um, Cisco and um, Dell and the other players. But now, coming to this Microtech, we've seen that Microtech has actually grown and is no longer an underdog. Today is my first Microtech, uh, mom, and, it's, and we've also come and we've exhibited, and I'm also uh, presenting and what we are presenting is a product called uh, Offnet. We, have, we do have an uh, exhibition. So basically, it's a platform that allows access to information or services locally hosted on uh, ICT infrastructure, hence cheaper and faster. So basically, what we do is that we take um, a router board, and then we take content, and we, we, put, we put it on the Microtech. And that Microtech advertises um, the content via uh, a Wi-Fi wi connection, and the connection is, is usually uh, open. So an example I'll give right now is that I've got slides right now. If you open your devices and look for an SSID called Offnet Mum, that's where our slides are. This Microtech device is not connected to the internet, so when you connect it, since the um, connection is, uh, is open, you'll be, redir you'll be redirected to Offnet Mum and there you'll be able to download our, our slides. So basically, that's the whole concept of, uh, of, 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 of Offnet. So we use the same setup for, um, for statues. You can take the content of a statue, like for example here, Nelson Mandela, we put that information uh, onto the device so there's no internet required, and then it beams a wireless signal called um, Nelson Mandela. When people connect to that uh, content, they are automatically redirected to that information. In our country, um, I'll, 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 I'll agree with Victor that this is a first world country. We come from uh, Zimbabwe and it's, uh, it's, a it's a third world country. Yeah. Um, who we are? We are three young um, IT enthusiasts from Zimbabwe with a background in uh, Cisco, Microtech, Linux, VoIP, virtualization, and um, network monitoring. We also we also we also do that, and um, and web development. So for you who don't who don't know where Zimbabwe is, it's uh, located north of South Africa, about uh, 1,200 kilometers from from here. Right. So now I'm going to go into uh, the main part of my presentation. So every year, towards the um, towards the end of the year, there's something called the Vic Falls uh, Carnival. So it's a three-day uh, event, a three-day party hosted in Victoria Falls, where there are thousands of locals and, uh, and, and, fo and foreigners meet. Uh, Victoria Falls is one of the seven great uh, natural wonders of this world. It's a, it's a very nice place. Um, so what, what the carnival wanted is that they wanted to set up um, a questionnaire, and then after people um, answer that questionnaire, so this questionnaire was going to be on Wi-Fi, after they access the questionnaire, they'll have uh, internet. 
So we came we came up with the with the offline uh, solution for that. So this is the this is the carnival. So there's um, there's quite a lot of people. So you get like a thousand, maybe a thousand five hundred people who will be attending. So that's another picture of the the carnival. So um, the solution um, we we had a bit of a challenge because um, in in Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe bandwidth is uh, quite quite costly. So to set up a 100 meg dedicated link for three days, it costs, it costs us uh, 21,000 $21, in dollars. To put that into perspective, uh, in South Africa, it will cost 15,000 rand for three days. In United States dollars, it will cost uh, $1,000 for three days. So you can do the maths on how much it will cost in a month. So this year, was our was our David? We had to supply uh, a hotspot system, and we had to do that using uh, an RB950 because that's what we had uh, at the time. And this was supposed to service uh, about a thousand uh, clients. So I'll just shoot the the topology will come next. So this was the topology. We had a hundred meg link, um, then we had the RB951, and then we had a POE switch, and those are four signal. Four signals below are your access points. But we all know what will happen after some time. We'll get 100% uh, utili utilization. So um, to, to deal with that, we looked for another um, RB951. So on the left is where the hotspot was. We created a walled garden to go to, go to Google Forms. So when users logged onto the RB951, they were redirected to Google Forms, which we had allowed using our walled gardens. We were able to answer a questionnaire, and after, and after answering the questionnaire, we would redirect them to a link where after cl clicking that link, they would um, get internet access as a trial, as a trial user. So since, since from the previous slide, we were getting 100% uh, CP utilization, we, we brought in another RB951 to, to load balance. So after the users have been authenticated, we, we then set up um, DHCP option three to redirect them to use a, 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 different, a different gateway. So how it works is that on the left, users, we set up FastPass so that users can go directly to the forms. And on the, on the right, after DHCP31, the users will then get a different uh, default gateway. So all those users that had been, that have completed the form can use the internet using the, the, the micro tick on the right. But we all know what happens when you've got a thousand people. You, you, you are, you're back in the same position and you've got 100% uh, CPU utilization. So we, we then also had a VPN connection on one of the micro ticks back to uh, some of the servers that we, we have. And uh, on those servers, we are just writing scripts to remove the leases and then um, to remove the leases of those people who had been, uh, who had been authenticated and changing their, their default route so that they could go through the other, the other uh, micro tick. So basically, um, we, we then set up 90 megs for, um, we, we created a simple queue to allow for 90 megs uh, per, per second for authenticated users and 10 megs would go for the people who are completing um, the form. So to deal with that load, we put in more uh, 951s five, nine five and we distributed the load over the five different uh, micro ticks. So what we'll do is that we'll, create, we'll um, take some of the authenticated uh, MAC addresses and then we'll also apply the DHCP option three so that um, some of them will go out the first micro tick and if the CPU usage uh, increased, some will uh, then shift them to the, to the others, hence reducing the load by adding more RB951s. Okay, and that's just a world garden option at the bottom there, which had the destination host uh, forms.google.com that we had that we had bypassed. 
Okay, so these are just the challenges and the, and the solutions that we, we implemented. We used uh, DHCP option three to change the default gateway of some of the MAC addresses that had been authenticated. We used a uh, fast path um, so that the, um, the forms would, uh, would, uh, would appear faster. So fast path bypasses um, most of the, 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 the stages in the, when, when a router passes through uh, a, 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 the, the, the micro-tick, so it just doesn't go through the bridging at all. It just goes uh, straight, 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 straight past the router. And then the portal page was also hosted externally, so uh, via uh, the, the Google form. So why we did that is that we're going to have more CPU utilization if we had it on the actual uh, micro-tick. And also, um, we had redirection challenges in that some, some devices uh, don't redirect uh, to, the, to the portal page. Then we had to actually tell them to put in a custom DNS uh, name that we, had, that we had made. There was also some opti optimization of the website so that it could also um, load a lot, a lot faster. We, had, we, we did have some challenges with um, channel, channel configurations that we were able to sort that out. So what's the future? Um, what we'd really like to do is um, host a mom someday in, in Zimbabwe, in the, in, the Victoria, in the Victoria Falls. We'd also want to deploy Offnet uh, in, in schools uh, with internet and uh, without um, internet. So in Zimbabwe, there are a lot of rural schools that don't have any, any internet connection. So what we wanted to do is that take these uh, microtech devices and then we set them up at schools. Although the schools do not have um, internet access, we can start teaching them the concepts of how routing works. And the fact that they are able to get content uh, locally, it means we can start teaching them how websites, uh, how, how websites work. And then we would want to scale it since the RB951 only has 128 megs, would like to connect, connect it to uh, more powerful servers with more storage. And what we can do is that we can put tutorials in there so that um, in places where there's no internet, the, 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 the kids there can start learning about um, server configurations and how everything works so that by the time internet comes, they're in a good position to, to better, to better under, understand it. Also, we'll be putting Linux on those um, servers so that they'll be able to, to to, to get a feel of how Linux uh, systems work. So the Offnet platform becomes a platform for breeding new startups. If you look at the big players like your, your Facebook, when, when Facebook started, he started off with, uh, when, when Mark Zuckerberg started off, he started off with the offline setup um, at Harvard, where he only used to just talk to, the, to an, an, an application that was only used uh, on campus. And then after some time, it grew. So we want to give kids that same platform um, at their campuses or in remote locations so that they too can also come up with a Facebook or, or, or a Google. So these are just some pictures of um, the Victoria Falls. Um, there's bungee jumping. Yeah, and then um, the last slides. We would like some feature requests um, on co configurations. I would like a date stamp to be set alongside a, a co configuration. Currently, we are able to sort um, firewall rules based on numbers, but it would be nice to be, to be able to sort firewall rules based on date and time to see which firewall rule you put uh, in early. Or not just firewall rules, any other command. Um, would I also like more training um, in, in in Zimbabwe, uh, some microtech training, because also microtech is a viable option for, um, for, for, for making money, because also in our country, the unemployment rate is, is high, and uh, microtech certification can actually help um, people actually get employed and be more productive. Those are the details. If you are able to download the, our slides via our offnet, Offnet uh, wireless link called Offnet Mum, you'll also be able to get um, the slides.
Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's been nice being at the mom. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you. <laughs>